Managing visibility of solids in the family editor can be done via the visible parameter. If you examine one of the solids, like this cube, and I've got a sphere hiding underneath it, this cube has a visible parameter, as does the sphere. And there's a small sneaky button that you can use uh, as a back door or side door to get into the create a, a parameter feature. Now I could go through the front door. I'll do the front door for the sphere and then tie it back together. But when you look at this button, you get the associate family parameter dialog. Notice no tooltip appeared. There used to be a tooltip a uh, couple releases, and then before that no tooltip, and now with 2017 appears the tooltip is gone again. Uh, if you want to create a parameter when none exists, I can call this show cube. Notice the type of parameter has been assigned to yes, no. It's not uncommon to assign it to something like graphics as a group. And whether you want to type or instance depends on whether you're trying to be able to toggle this on and off in individual families or whether you want a type to simply be cube and another to be sphere. <clears throat> now that I've assigned show cube, I can go to the front door and look at the family types dialog. And in the front door, you can see there's a show cube. And I can create a, button, a new parameter, show sphere. I have to remember to assign these values. There isn't any confusion when I'm setting it up for the other one because the object defined what, what kind of parameter should be by default. In this case, I have to do the work. Now, so show sphere and show cube are both available. I click OK. I can come back and grab the sphere. Now I can use associate family parameter, and sphere is there. Choose OK. Both of these have been assigned to a visibility setting. <clears throat> family types allows me to create a uh, series of family types or some logic to define when one of them should be on and off. If I want to create a type called cube, and I want a type called sphere, then sphere should have cube off, and cube should have sphere off. Just choosing the right type changes the setting, but I have to preset the behavior. Now another way of approaching it is if you don't want to have to toggle this on and off or you want the user to toggle it on and off when it's in a project, we can put in a not logic and say not cube, not show cube. So when show cube is true, it will turn this one off. If I move into the other field, you'll see that it grays out. Now when I check this, it removes the check for show sphere. So in this case, uh, this is a sphere type, so I wouldn't want that checked. When I go back to cube, cube is checked, and sphere is automatically unchecked. So you can take advantage of the formula column to force that kind of logic, or you can simply set up the types to allow you to check and uncheck the values that should be removed based on the types uh, configuration. Well, that's how you can turn stuff off, uh, solids and voids. Voids don't work that way. Voids, uh, you can use another technique we can talk about in another video. Over and out.